Hello guys, welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, I'm going to solve question three of ICSC 2015. So part A says state the data type and value of y after the following is executed. Char x is equal to seven. Y is equal to character is letter dot letter and passed x. So is letter checks if the passed character is a letter or not. So it returns a boolean. So data type of y is boolean. Okay, and y stores false because Seven is not a letter. Okay, part A is done. Moving on to part B. What is the function of the cache block in exception handling? Cache block performs the action when an exception is caught in the cache block. Okay, so cache block is placed after the try block. So you can for the next answer also you can write where does this appear in the program after a try block, okay? So yeah, what is the function of cache block in exception handling? So it performs the action uh, when an exception is raised during the execution of a program, and what is to be done in case that exception is raised is performed in the uh, cache block, okay? Part B is done. Moving on to part C. State the output when the following program segment is executed. Okay. String A is equal to smartphone and B is equal to graphita, the graphic card, and H equals to A dot substring two comma five. So substring method with two parameters returns the substring between start and the end index, excluding the end index. So H takes the substring of A. So A has indices zero, one, two, three, four. So it returns A substring with indices two, three, four. So H stores A R T R. Okay. Then string K equals to B dot substring eight. So when there is only one parameter in the substring method, the substring from the uh, string is extracted starting from this given index. So starting from eight, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So K stores R. Okay. Then we have system dot out dot printl and h. So if this was the console, so print ln h. So h is small a r t. Then change a line because there is a print ln. And then system dot out print ln k dot equals ignores case h. So k is r dot equals ignores case r will give you true because these two are same uh, ignoring the case. Okay. Part C is done. Moving on to part D. The S specifier that gives the most accessibility is Public and the least accessibility is private. Part is moving on to part E first. Name the mathematical function which is used to find the sine of angle given in radians. It is sine. So you can use math dot sine. Pass some value in that. Okay. Then we have part E two. Name a string function which removes the blank space provided in the prefix and suffix or suffix of the string. This is trim method. Of the string class, okay, T R I M, okay. The parenthesis is just to show that it's a method. Moving on to part F first. What will this code print? Int A R is equals to new int five. System dot out dot print and A R R, okay. So A R R is basically the location of the array, or you can say it points to the first first location in the array, okay. So A R R will be a garbage value. Because the location is always a garbage value, you cannot make any meaning out of it. Okay. Part I F1 is then moving on to F2. Name the keyword which is used to resolve the conflict between parameter and instance variables field, which is this keyword. Okay. Moving on to question G. State the package that contains the class buffered reader. This is in Java dot io and scanner is in Java dot util. Okay, so G one two are done. Moving on to H. Write the out write the output of the following program code char ch in x equals to ninety seven do ch equals to char x system dot out print ch plus space. It's a print not print ln. If x percent ten equals zero break plus plus x and while x is then equal to hundred. So what are the values you need to watch for uh, watch for is x ch. Okay, and condition x percent ten. Okay, 
So if I consider this the console, let us see what the output is. So x starts with 97 as, as we all know. The ASCII value of small a is 97. Okay. So x starts with 97. So ch is small a and then small a is printed. Okay. With a space. So this is a space. Okay. Then x percent 10 is 97 percent 10 is 7 which is not equal to 0. So the loop does not break. X is incremented, X becomes 98. And there's another condition which checks S the X is less than equal to 0. 98 is less than equal to 0 is true. We move on to back in the do loop. So which says CH equals to car X. So CH becomes B now. Then system dot R dot print CH plus space. So we print a B and space. Moving on to X percent 10. So 98 percent 10 gives me 8 which is not equal to 0. So loop does not break and we increment x so x becomes 99 while x is greater less than or equal to 100 so 99 less than or equal to 100 okay we move on ch equals to care of x so ch is c c is printed with a space x percent 10 is 99 percent 10 is gives me 9 which is not equal to 0 so the loop does not break we increment x x becomes 100 x is less than or equal to 100 100 is less than or equal to 100 is true. We go back into this loop. CH is equal to care of X, which gives me D. Okay. Then system dot out with D space. And then I have X percent 10. So 100 percent 10, which is zero. So the loop breaks for X is equal to 100. Okay. So you have A space, B space, P space, D space. Okay. So these are four spaces. Okay. So this was the part H moving on to part I write the Java expression for. So A square plus B square by 2AB. So A square plus B square by 2AB. Okay. Or you can write math dot pow A square A to power 2 plus math dot pow B to power 2 divided by 2 into a into b okay you just have to write the expression you, you can write you can set it to some double value r is equals to but this will make it a statement so this either of these answers should work moving on to part j if y is equals to 10 then find z is equals to this okay so z is equals to plus plus y into y plus 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 5 okay okay so y starts with 10. The first term is plus plus y, which is pre-increment. So y is increased first and then used. So y becomes 11 and it is then used. So z is equals to 11 plus. Okay. Then we come into this parenthesis. So y plus 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 5. So this term y plus plus is post increment. So y is used first and then incremented. So it is used as 11. Okay. This was into sorry 11 plus 5. Okay. And y here becomes 12. So 11 into 11 plus 5 is 11 into 16, which gives me uh, 176. So 176 is the answer. Part J is done. So this was the solution to question 3. I hope this was helpful. So please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.